And here's what we understand in Christianity. When a person comes to Christ, we tell them that you need to obey the gospel and you need to be born what? You need to be born again. So this is what sin did. Sin contaminated the image of God. When Adam and Eve sinned, it contaminated the image of God, which means when Adam sinned, he had not only sinned in his body, he had not only sinned in his soul, and he sinned with the spirit of God that God gave him. So you sinned in the body, you sinned in the soul, and you sinned in the spirit, which means Adam and Eve, you are completely and totally contaminated by sin. Whenever you go in your kitchen and you find uh, a little fungus on the sandwich that you didn't left in there for a little while, you just find a little, it's just a little fungus. What I'm trying to say is not a lot, it's just a little bit. Like it's on the tip. So what you do is, and y'all let me know if, if I'm wrong. <laughs> what you do is, you get a little knife. No, no, no. Y'all ain't even heard what I was gonna say yet. <laughs> it don't even sound right. <laughs> Some of y'all look at me like, I ain't never eaten at your house. <laughs> you, you, you don't get a little knife? Because the fungus is right just on the tip. You get a, and, you, and you cut it. Okay, what if you just take off the top bun? <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you do with the sandwich? Wait a minute, hold on. You throw it all? Yeah, all, all. <laughs> that's why we don't that's why that's why we don't take that's why we don't take water and and throw it on your forehead because you completely in sin we say take all your clothes off and get in we gotta take you all the way down you gotta be completely immersed when you get baptized so you can have all your sins what you can have all your sins washed away. So notice what we say in Christianity. You must be born again. You must die and be born again because the Lord won't scrape your sin away. The Lord won't cut a piece. He said, listen, I'm going to need, in Christianity, I'm going to need you to believe and I'm gonna need all of you. I can't have your little foot in. I can't have your little elbow in. I'm gonna need you to fully commit. Have anybody, have anybody uh, 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 ever been in the service? Have you, anybody ever, has anybody ever served, been in the service? If not, uh, have you ever seen, have you ever seen anybody uh, uh, halfway commit? <laughs> like they were partial, they, they were partially in the army? The, you know the army won't accept you if you won't go all the way in? They said, listen, you either gonna need to fully commit and when you fully commit, you gotta leave where you are and you gotta leave your friends and we gonna take you to a place separate from where you're familiar and we gotta reprogram you. We gotta restructure you. We gotta redo your mind. So notice this, you have a body, you have a spirit and you have a soul. And you are made in the likeness of God. When a person comes to Christ, Notice what Jesus said in John chapter 14. He says, if you will love me and keep my commandments, me, my father, and the spirit will come to you and we'll make a home in you. Yeah. Have anybody ever thought about that? Yeah. Why is it when you get baptized, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit will desire to make the home in you? Why is that? because it is home Come on. because when I made you I made you in my image so for you to be born again what I did physically in the beginning is now what I'm going to give you spiritually yeah. in my son I'm going to give you a new body I'm going to give you a new spirit and I'm going to give you a new soul that's why it's very dangerous don't ever let your body keep your soul 
from entering into pearly gates. Your soul is having a ball here on earth. Or your, your flesh. Your flesh is having a ball here on earth. But your flesh needs to whisper to you and say, hey, listen, I want to let you know, I'm just going back to the dirt. For the stuff we do in this flesh, your soul is going to have to stand there all by itself and give an answer to the things that is done in the flesh. Yeah.